Okay, so we're back with this vid of the VF1 that I got for sale actually cutting apart because i done the video um, last time and said we'll come back shortly, show you it cutting apart and I completely forgot about it, been doing other stuff. So I'm actually machining um, a batch of parts today and I'm making these small brackets on this machine and I've just done one of them and um, I've got another nine more to do on here. So it's currently roughing out with a 10 millimeter mill. 6,500 RPM, 2,000 millimetres a minute. Chopping away there. Um, all good, like, not really much else to say. It's working and when I've got jobs on the go, I might as well use it myself at the same time because I've got this machine um, running, facing off a load of plate, and then this machine's turned off at the minute because I'm about to set up another rock in there. So while I've got it for sale, like I say, it's um, a machine that I'm gonna use while it's here, which is a little bit different than you're gonna get from a lot of people you're buying from, if you're buying from dealers or if you're buying from auctions, because the machine ain't gonna be running like this. So you can see it running, it's making parts. The only thing I'm doing while it's here, um, a few of you might remember a while back, I had two ball bar kits. I had an original Renishaw um, QC10 wired ball bar kit, and then later on down the line, I bought a Renishaw QC20W wireless ball bar kit. Now, I had a bit of play with them. They were nice to have, but they were quite a lot of money, so I ended up selling them um, because they sat in the cupboard for like over a year, didn't get used. Now, it would be handy to have for things like this to dial it in, but for me, it was just, you know, it was, it was fun to play with for a little while, and then they got put to one side, um, so I put them up sale and I sold them. So now I've had the two ball screws, the X and the Y, refurbished in this. And what I'm gonna do is, while I'm cutting these 10 parts, because the dimensions on this aren't very critical. There's just hole points, um, there's three bolt holes in it, and we've got wiggle room. Um, so I'm just literally gonna be tweaking the backlash for surface finish. So that's where we're at currently. That mark here, where my finger is, is the leading lead out of the part, but that's where we are. It's not terrible by any means, but I might as well have a little play because I'm kind of, I find it, if you do it on the indicator with a backlash, it's not the same result as actually cutting apart and tweaking it. So while that finish, in my opinion, for a 20 year old machine, um, 25 year old machine is completely acceptable and it's no worse than I've got on my other machines, um, I might as well have a little play because even when I fitted in this one, for example, brand spanking new ball screws from Haas, um, which I think were Highwind or Bosch Rexworth, I can't remember who the screws were done by, but I fitted brand new ones. And even that, the backlash can't be set at zero. There's something. So you have to tweak the parameters. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. But the machine is cutting. Everything, you know, the coolant's working. Everything's moving. It's cutting as it is. I think I covered everything pretty much on the last video, so there's not really much else to say. Nothing's changed. Everything is good. So yeah, the machine's cutting, it's working. It can be seen in person if you want to come and have a look. Um, or you've got the other videos to have a walk around. But yeah, get in touch. Info at kinseyfabrications.co.uk if you're interested in the machine. Now while I'm here, the VF2, I've actually decided that I'm going to do a bit more on it, like you may have seen. Um, this motor was faulty, so we took it off there. And now I've got three of these um, X and Y axis motors off of these machines, not off this one, but in general I've got three. I had one from there, one spare, now this one. I bought that one, second hand used. Now we've got no electrical errors or anything on this machine um, and it's good to go. I ran it up yesterday. We need to just confirm um, and probably replace some of the oilers, make sure the spindle's getting oil. But I think I'm gonna run it in for a while because obviously it's sat. I reckon it's sat for quite a long time, this machine, not doing anything. Um, 
the gearbox is a little bit noisy at the minute. I'm going to drain and change the oil and, uh, and then see how it sounds because part of me, now it is all working. I've replaced the x-axis ball screw. That's been taken out and replaced with a good used one. Uh, and I'm going to do the Y and the Z and then I'm going to see how it runs and see how it all sounds because I don't want to part it out for parts. One, because it takes a long time to sell it all on. Um, depending as and when and what people need. I'd rather sell it as a whole machine fully working. So we're going to continue with it. We just, um, I would have liked to have not took the gearbox off and rebuilt it, but if we have to, if it's noisy, and it doesn't sound noisy as in gears, it, it kind of sounds like it might be noisy within bearings, but we're going to run it for a while, get it all like lubed up, everything going around, do a few spindle warm-ups or maybe even a whole day type um, spindle braking and then we'll see where we're at with the VF2 so we've got our part just done there I'll have to have a look in a sec to see if that backlash setting was better or worse but yeah machine's running cheers for watching See you again soon, and if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. I know the last video previous was the Subaru video, my own car stuff, and I will be doing more of that, whether that's, you know, whether you like that or whether you don't is what it is, but I will be doing some more on that. I'm gonna try and make some space to get the car in the workshop. But I've literally, the only thing I can do, if I get this machine skated up, and I might be able to get it all the way back to here, just to get me enough room to get the car in, so I can do what I need to do on it. I need to do some, Sealing the rocker cover gaskets and an oil change and service and again start on possibly some welding depending whether I do some or whether I send it straight to the body shop but that's another video, um, another topic so yeah cheers for watching, see you again soon.